Hey guys, so I am here with my sister Krista and we have decided that since we both have so many unused products in our drawers that we would start a new monthly thing called products we vow to use during the month of, so right now is August. We'll show you them now and then we'll do a video at the end of the month talking about whether or not we like them, whether we'd suggest you buy them and all that sort of good stuff. So I will begin. The first product that I have is one of the sleek makeup palettes. It is the Oh So Special palette. It's just a range of neutral shades. Um, there's some purples, like kind of muddy purples, and a little bit of peach. I have been using this a little bit since I vowed to start using it, and I really like it. Sleek has very nice shadows for a really good price. My first product is the Stila Trendsetting in Tokyo palette. I don't even remember when I got this exactly, but I've hardly used it. I've used a bit of the blue. It has four eyeshadow colors, black, blue, pink, and a gold, and then it has a blush. A cream blush. Cream blush. My next thing that I am going to use is the Too Faced, uh, the Bronzed and the Beautiful palette. It comes with four bronzers and highlighters. Um, I picked this up in October when I was in uh, LA and to be honest I've kind of regretted it because I'm not a huge fan of very shimmery bronzers but I am going to give it a try this month and then I will be able to let you know ooh, how I feel about it. My next one is the NYX 10 color um, eyeshadow palette in the color Secret World and it has it's kind of a folly colors I'd say. It has some greens, browns, orange, and again I haven't really used this much so I want to try and use it and see if I can experiment more with the colors. My next one is from Physicians Formula. It's their Mineral Wear Mineral Airbrushing Press Powder in the color Creamy Natural. It's just a really nice powder, really good coverage. Um, and it's supposed to give you an airbrush finish. I have been using this since the beginning of August and so far, oops, I really like it. So I'll give you more details at the end of the month. My next product is a Max Blossoming Cream Blush. And it's kind of like a, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of it's like a frosted peach. Sure. Frosted peach. I would say it's kind of like a darker pinky, kind of coral color. But it has almost like a shimmer kind of glimmer to it. See, it's like a little bit frosted. Okay. But Unfortunately, I think that this blush is no longer available at MAC, but she can still tell you how she feels about yeah. it in case you can pick one up. I have to try. I haven't really used my two cream blushes from MAC much at all. Next for me is this. Another thing I picked up in LA last October, and it is the... Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in the color Nectar. Uh, I bought this again on a bit of a whim, not thinking about the fact that I don't love a lot of shimmer on my cheeks because I have acne and I find it tends to make the acne stand out more. But it's just got five different kind of peachy shimmer colors that you can use separately or mix together. It's nice as both a highlighter or a blush and I have been playing around with it a little bit and I don't mind it, so I'm gonna keep trying it out. My next one is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Perfect Match um, Touche Magique. It's the under eye concealer. And I wanted to start using this because I bought it a while ago and I've been using Alicia's MAC under eye concealer, but when I go home to my own house, I won't have it. So I wanna try this one out and see if I like it as much and how good it is. I've tried that one before. I actually use it fairly regularly. I really like it. So my next one is actually a product that I got in Toronto when I went to a taping of City Line with my friend and her mom. It's a bit of a weird product. It's by Guerlain and it's supposed to be a um, reusable mascara. So I guess there is like a little ma mascara pod that comes out and you can put it in and reuse it. Um, I did try this a little bit when I first got it and didn't love it, but I find that mascaras get better once they've had a chance to dry out a little bit so I'm gonna give this another shot and see if it's really worth the price because I think it's at least $50. My next one is Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Petticoat. I think I got this at one of the MAC warehouse sales and I haven't really used it much and this one's a pretty color. It's kind of a pink, a lighter pink. It has some shimmer in it. Next for me is an Annabelle product and it is one of their smoothie eyeshadows in the color Melonade. 
it's just kind of like a, hmm, I don't know, like kind of a pinky peach yeah. um, cream shadow. And I know I've tried other ones of these or use them a lot and they have amazing staying powder. I like using this as both an individual eye color by itself or under um, similar colored eyeshadows as a base. My next product is um, Illamasqua Intense Lip Gloss in the color Mistress. I think my parents got this for me and Alicia when they went to Vegas a couple of years ago. Really bright color. I haven't used it much. At all? Mm, I've probably used it a couple times. Try it again. See how it... How it's much like a like nice it. hot coral Yeah, red. it's very bright orangey red. It's good to use it this month so you can use it during... Summer. Summer. Next for me, I have another bright coral color. This is the Moran Lip Cream, and I got this when I went to New York to IMAX. I actually picked this up at first because I thought that it was a cream blush, but it turns out it's a lip cream. Um, but I've been using it as both, and again, it's just a really nice hot coral color. It's very, very creamy, so um, I would definitely set this with a powder if you're using it on your cheeks. My next product is Maybelline Eye Studio. Um, it's a eyeliner in the color Eggplant. It's just like a darker purple with shimmer eyeliner. And I don't remember why I got it. I think I wanted it to do kind of like a purple, more smoky eye, but I haven't used it that much. So I want to try it again because I don't really use eyeliner that much or that often. My last product is from NYX or NYX. I don't know which one people call it. I think NYX sounds better. Anyway, from NYX, and it is one of their Mega Shine lip glosses, and this is in the color Dolly Pink, and it is a super, super hot pink, very pigmented lip gloss. I like how shiny these are and how they feel on the lips. I didn't like the smell for a while because it's kind of almost like cherry cough medicine, but now I'm starting to like, you don't like it. Well, it's like cherry cough medicine. Now I'm starting to like it quite a bit, so I think this will be a great color for summer. And my last product is a MAC eyeshadow in the color Family Silver. It's kind of a dual color. It has a lighter silver on one side, a darker gray silver on the other side, and it has um, streaks of a gold running throughout it. It was one of their mineralized eyeshadows. Yeah. And unfortunately, I think this one is no longer available either. So that is it for the products that we are vowing to try during the month of August. If you want to join us, be sure to leave um, a link to your video or to your post about it in the comments below. And, and we will see you at the end of the month to let you know how we got along with these products. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye! So my hair like, we're like this. We're like this. Let's see. Hey guys, so I am here with my sister Krista and we decided that Wait. is their mineral wear talk free blush it's a mineral airbrushing pressed oh sorry not blush okay uh, what you like? my next one is oh wait so again <laughs> supposed to be a oh. <laughs> Freaking hot outside. Alaska. Well, that's what she sounds like. Minnesota. Oh, Bristol. I should show I people where you hold your products while you wait. <laughs> One looks good. <laughs> or as a base for similar colored. <laughs> Listen here. I have an eyeshadow for you.